Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your heart. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you, my Lord. You have answered my plea. My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist of Love. Today being Sunday, we pray for your intentions. We pray for your family. We pray for those intentions which are very dear to you. My dear brothers and sisters, today we wish to pray for all the senior members in our homes. We pray for their healing. We pray for God's blessings upon them. We thank God for the gift of them. And we ask our dear Lord to protect those who have no one to take care of them, those who live just by themselves, sometimes uncared, nobody to speak to them, nobody to care for them. We ask our dear Lord to bless them. Dear friends, we wish to thank each one of you for participating in the Holy Eucharist on our channel. We thank all our benefactors and well-wishers for their constant support. We also appeal to you to help our channel by your financial support so that we are able to carry the word of the Lord to the whole world. Let us work together to strive to proclaim the word of God to the ends of the world together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures and ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of God the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Our reading from the book of Job. Chapter 7, verses 1 to 4, 6 and 7. Job began to speak. Is not man's life on earth nothing more than press service? His time to better than hide drudgery. Like the slave sighing for the shade, or the workman with no thought but his wages, months of delusion have assigned to me nothing for my own but nights of grief. Lying in bed I wonder, what will it be day? Risen I think, how slowly evening comes, restlessly I fret till twilight falls. Swifter than a weaver's shuttle my days have passed, and vanished leaving no hope behind. Remember that my life is but a breath, and that my eyes will never again see joy. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Praise the Lord for He is good. Sing to our God for He is loving. To Him our praise is due. Response. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Response. Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. Our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly, He humbles the wicked to the dust. Response Praise the Lord who heals the brokenhearted. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Chapter 9, verses 16 to 19 and 22 to 23. I should be punished if I did not preach the gospel. I do not boast of preaching the gospel, since it is a duty which has been laid on me. I should be punished if I did not preach it. If I had chosen this work myself, I might have been paid for it. But as I have not, it is a responsibility which has been put into my hands. Do you know what my reward is? It is this, in my preaching, to be able to offer the good news free and not insist on the rights which the gospel gives me. So, though I am not a slave of any man, I have made myself the slave of everyone so as to win as many as I could. For the weak, I made myself weak. I made myself all things to all men in order to save some at any cost. And I still do this for the sake of the gospel to have a share in its blessings. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 1, verses 29 to 39. On leaving the synagogue, Jesus went with James and John straight to the house of Simon and Andrew. Now Simon's mother-in-law had gone to bed with fever, and they told him about her straight away. He went to her, took her by the hand, and helped her up. And the fever left her, and she began to wait on them. That evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were sick and those who were possessed by devils. The whole town came crowding round the door, and he cured many who were suffering from diseases of one kind or another. He also cast out many devils, but he would not allow them to speak because they knew who he was. In the morning, long before dawn, he got up and left the house and went off to a lonely place and prayed there. Simon and his companions set out in search of him, and when they found him, they said, Everybody is looking for you. He answered, Let us go elsewhere to the neighboring country towns so that I can preach there too, because that is why I came. And he went all through Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out devils. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, prayer is very important in our lives. We are busy all the day long and sometimes even part of the night. We make lot of efforts in life to grow, to develop, to know more, to have more knowledge, to become skilled, and to become efficient. But if there is no God in what we do, all our efforts, all our goodness, all our hard work will go in vain. Look at the life of Jesus himself in the Gospel reading of today. After all his works, he retires in order to pray, in order to be alone, that too with God to be silent, to be in prayer. Whatever type of work we do, we need this retirement to pray, relax to pray, and then you get energy and re-energize to do your work with total strength and courage. Jesus heals the mother-in-law of Simon. And at that time, he realizes that there are many people who are crowding around him. And he heals them of all the diseases, casts out devils. And he heals them. He does not stop 
after he has communicated and prayed to God, his father, he draws strength from his father to go to many other villages and towns to proclaim the good news and to heal. In the first reading from Job, we see that Job says, I am just a breath. A breath is a moment that you do not experience that you are breathing. You do not realize. But if it stops, then we are gone. She experiences in life various type of situations. Every breath becomes very important and becomes even painful to him. He waits day unto day, night unto night, with all agony and pain. But finally, it is God who gives strength. St. Paul says in his first letter to the Corinthians that everything will go in vain if I do not preach. I should be punished if I did not preach the gospel. And the preaching of the gospel meant to do it with love, with inner compulsions, and to do it without seeking for any reward. It is beyond my duty. It is a must for me in life. And I am ready to experience any cost because it is very necessary for me to preach. So my dear friends, in life we are invited to be in touch with God. We are called to obey His commands. We are called to communicate not only with God but even with our own brothers and sisters. And it is to be seen by our deeds that we love God. When we heal the sick, when we cast out devils, when we remain in love with each other, keeping in mind that the gospel of the Lord is very important for us to live. And God is our breath. He is our strength, and He is everything to us. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now profess our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in, and in Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, His only, his only Son, Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, from, From there he will come, come to judge the living, the living and, the and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the moment when we can express to our God gratitude, thanksgiving, and intercede for all those intentions that we need help. Let us pray for our Holy Father 
to have good health. Let us pray for our cardinals, bishops, priests, religious, deacons, and all of us, all the lay faithful, that we as a family of Christ be true witnesses of him in this world. Let us pray for all the leaders, political leaders, religious leaders, and all the government who are ruling, that they may be just towards the needy, the marginalized, and take care of them, that they may look for peace and harmony and work towards the same. Let us pray for our families, for our little ones in our homes, for our youth, for our parents, for the aged and senior members in our homes. Let us pray for their good health. Let us pray for the sick and the suffering. Let us pray for those who are looking for jobs, those couples who are waiting for the gift of child. Let us pray for all the needy, the poor, the hungry, who need our help. That our generosity may help them to live with dignity and love. Let us pray for our personal intentions at this moment. Let us pray for our channel and for the ministry of the Word of God. Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated. The work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created a man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him, through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as they obey the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my heart. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. My dear brothers and sisters, wishing you all a very joyful Sunday and let us all live Jesus. Let's sing to our mother as we would sing to our love. Mother in heaven, yet mother with us. Heaven rejoice at your birth.